Alright guys, I'm Alaska. We're gonna be talking about how to beat Lucia in um, <clears throat> Wii Sports Resort Table Tennis Match. Lucia is the champion, um, which means that she is the highest uh, ranked player with the highest stats. Um, anywhere from 0 to t uh, 2500, Lucia still holds the highest stats, which is impressive because she is only at level, uh, accessible at level 1500 or more. So I have this me here and we're gonna face her off. Now a couple of things, alright. You need to make sure you have good hardware. You need to make sure that your Wii Remote works completely well, that your sensor bar works completely well, and that your TV is uh, at, the, at the utmost compatibility with um, your Wii U input display, uh, input delay, sorry. I can't talk. Um, and things like that. Um, so what we want to do also is we want to also learn, uh, you know, the way that spin works in the game. So the first thing you want to know how to do is you want to know the to top spin. Top spinning is a, a type of rotation that you put on the ball that where it goes forward and inward. The, the ball basically curls up and around. So you kind of cover it up like a pan. Like that. See it curling, curling inward. <clears throat> and when I curl it inward, I uh, rotate the Wii remote downward towards the floor, um, like like this, and it looks like this. It looks like it's covering the ball. When you do a backhand, you want to stroke to the right hand side, um, because again, it's inward spin. If you if you stroke it left, it'll 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 uh, produce backspin which I'll get to in a second. So topspin can corner really well and it's also very fast. Um, it's a great thing to use because uh, it gives the opponent less time to get to it. So um, uh, it's very, very good for cornering. And that was... I thought I had the point there, sorry. You never know with Lucia. Um, so yeah, that was all top spins, and I won the point by quartering. So, yeah, you just hit it away from Lucia, pretty much. And, uh, if you have the right hardware, and if you use top spin, that's pretty much the extent of it. But, if you're having trouble from here on out, uh, I would suggest continue watching the video. For some, that might be all you need, but for others, you know, you need to get down the timing, you need to get down, um, things like that because there'll be some points where she does this or she'll hit the corner of the table which is called a brink and uh, other things like that um so yeah uh topspin is pretty much the only really important one but you can also use no spin which is just like like barely shaking the remote like this this uh this is just a safe safety kind of thing. It's safe because um, it, it's like a laser aimed really straight, and you don't have to like kind of guess where to aim uh, on the table for it. And you can also calm the rally down a little with it. Um, backspin. So backspin is pretty much the opposite of topspin, where you're basically flicking it backwards towards yourself when you swing. You're going under the ball, and the ball um, gives off a rotation going backwards and outwards. So, when you're doing a forehand like this, you're going right, okay? And when you're doing a backhand, you're going left. Uh, and it's vice versa for uh, left-handers, by the way. Sorry to mention it now. But you can win a, a rally just using backspins. It's just, it's just really hard. Uh, Lucia will get tricked up by it at some point. You, you just have to like really be patient. Also, yeah, she can hit a really high shot like that, which is really easy to smash. Like, smash down towards the corner. She'll give off a, a, a weak shot, which is uh, the one with that, like, trail, little, like, squiggly trail. And you can smash those. If you time it right, you can smash those. So that's pretty cool. Now, as you can see, I'm using my topspin, and I'm going, like, really far back from the table. It's actually very hard to control these types of shots. We call this, um, 
uh, backwards momentum or, uh, I forget the terminology, it's like, stacking, stacking, yeah, we call it stacking, when you back up from the table like that and spin gets faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. This can be good because you can corner a lot easier, like you can corner much, much harder, but it's not especially easier. If you want to come back to the table, as you can see, you can use a backspin to actually get back. See how close I am right now? I'm, we're using backspins and uh, it's making the rally a lot calmer. So that's also another use for backspin. Um, <clears throat> another thing is, I'm in 6 point right now. But you can change it to 11 point uh, anytime you want by, um, here, let me demonstrate. So you basically just quit and exit, and then uh, you get to uh, you get to this screen and you hold down 2. And then you keep holding it, keep holding it, release now, and it, yeah. Oh. Uh, you can do the same thing for the boot. You ha you have to beat Lucia first, though. You have to beat Lucia before you can access the boot. So yeah, it's it's a lot faster, and actually, some people have less difficulty with eleven point. It's just that it, it goes a lot faster, and there's a lot less time for the opponent to get to the ball, which um, it's it, it makes it harder to hit shots. But it also makes it easier for Lucia to mess up and not get to the ball. That is a net shot, and actually those are really rare for Lucia to hit, so that's kind of cool. Also, yeah, the, they are indeed longer. Okay, so here's what I just did. That's, that's what I uh, meant by the brink shot there. Um, I don't know why she missed it. She was trying to hit it late, I guess. Lucia likes to do that for some reason. She likes to hold off the smashes. Four, zero. Th this is one of her crazy shots. That's called a smash return shot. Uh, she kind of goes crazy attempting them sometimes. Also, when you know when you're getting like... When you know she hits a good corner on you, and you're not going to be able to get to the ball with a normal shot, like, you, you're, you have to do a weak one. Just make sure you aim across the table. You never want to go down the line. You want, always want to hit cross court, all right? Because if you hit it down the line, she can just spike it cross court, and uh, you, she'll have a lot of room to do it. it it'll be literally ungettable. I'll, I'll try to demonstrate. See if I actually can demonstrate it. I don't know how to demonstrate this. There we are. See, she, she has a lot of room if you just try to uh, put down the line. That was a crazy shot. That was, that was mean. Five, yeah. One. There's nothing you can really do about that. You have to have some really good uh, reflexes if you want to avoid hitting a shot that bounces off the net and doesn't actually hit the table. It counts as a no bounce. That's called Six, an overstack. One. So, <coughs> forgot to tell you guys this, I'm sorry. Uh, an overstack is when uh, you hit a ball with so much topspin and speed that the, the opponent can't even get it because it's so far behind her when she tries to get it. Six, that, this one was just me trying to get it from behind my back and show off a little bit. So yeah, Lucia has about, like, I think a 40% chance of backspin, which is a pretty high amount. Uh, we call Lucia a, hy a hybrid spinner, which is between topspin and backspin. Like, heavy topspin, heavy backspin. I don't know why my meme did that, Seven, but three. yeah, your meme will just do random crap sometimes and uh, not let you hit the ball. So uh, be prepared for that. That is why backspin is sometimes good, and that's why no spin is sometimes good, as well. Eight, three. This one, I guess it was such a good corner that she couldn't get to it. <clears throat> yeah, so... <coughs> yeah, 
yeah, when you uh, smash it to that side, as you can see, she like steps to the side and you can hit it cross court. There you go. It's a very easy, uh, what you call a put away, uh, a shot that ends the point. Um, <clears throat> like an easy, nice shot that ends the point. So she's stepping all the way over there. You can get her over there a little more and then bam, over there. Ten, three. For the win! Oh wow. So, uh, if you can see, see, there's a slight difference in some of my smashes Match from point. each other. There are two types of smashes that I do. One is called the, just the regular normal topspin smash, and the other is called the super smash. Dang, that was a nice play. Ten, there. Five. Um, <clears throat> Match point. I gave myself a lot of room so she could corner it. Or I gave her a lot of room to corner it. So that's a top spin. That's a, a top spin smash. As you can see, it, uh, it dips very quickly and it also has a bit of side spin action where the ball goes like, again, up kind of inward. And uh, uh, I tried to do uh, a super smash there, it didn't really work. So a super smash is where you kind of flick it backwards, like with some backwards momentum, just a tiny bit. Okay, that was ridiculous. Zero, one. That's, uh, she just did what's called a smash return. Yeah. That's, that's a smash return, and what you just want to do with those is you want to is you want to make a guess. Usually she'll actually hit it like down the line, which is strange, but, or she'll do an inside out. Or, no, she'll never do an inside out. She'll always do an inward type because an inside out is very hard in this game to do, like to pull off. You, um, since the ball usually only curls towards the inside, One, if you two. know what I mean. And an inside out basically goes like that. One, and you can only backspin three. that way, so it's really hard to pull one off. Okay, that was very lucky. <sighs> Sometimes you just can't predict those. If your me starts walking weird, you 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 should probably like get on that because sometimes that does mean that it's gonna hit the corner, but that it's gonna be like a really precise to get shot Two, that only has four. like a certain amount of frames to get. Pretty precise sometimes, it gets really precise. Okay, that was almost a corner, but it hit the side of the table instead of the corner of the table. So it's out, unfortunately. I was really close there too, that's stupid. Yeah, going for a brink is very unsafe, and you should just probably do it to show off if you want, I, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, backspin will sometimes be really and uh, I'm hitting it right towards her, so uh, as to demonstrate the smash returns, which you should avoid at all costs. By like hitting away from her. That's how you avoid them. The, the dreaded smash returns are really hard to do. Okay. So just hit away from her, like I said in the beginning. That was a very good get. <laughs> Sometimes if you hit it like right at her face, She'll try to go around it with her paddle and end up coming way too far over it and shooting it way out of bounds. If you know it. Oh, that was a nice shot. But she got that instantly somehow. I don't I don't even know how that works. Another thing Lucia does is she goes way far away from the table when you're smashing. It's actually a strategy in real life that uh, professionals do is that they go really far back to hit smashes because um, the ball will like lose a ton of speed once it's out there, like once it's way out there. That's called the Magnus effect, I'm pretty sure. That's how spin works as well. Right, and that's why like the backspin like dips backwards in the air. And topspin like goes down real quick. Uh, 
Um, let's get back to six point because I know many people are gonna try to do six point over eleven point because it's a little uh, easier to manage, like easier to control and things like that. Bum bum, bum bum, ba dum bum bum, bum bum, ba dum bum. So the serve that I do here, <laughs> it's like. Uh, it's kind of weird. I call it the coin slot serve. Wow, what a shot. That was good, and I'm not going to be able to get to that. I hit, I hit, again, I hit a weak shot down on the line, so she had a lot of room. One thing about angling is that you can't ever hit an angle really late. Like, you can't hit, it's very, very tough to hit an angle really late. It's possible, but it's not plausible, supposedly. Like, I've, I've done maybe a couple, One, two. but they're just really hard to pull off. And you have to do it from, like, behind your head and crap, which is crazy. It's just a bunch of unnecessary stuff. She, yeah, she can also do smash returns in six point. So yeah, my serve, damn, I'm skipping. My serve is you hold your Wii remote towards the TV, like directly, and then you tilt it up 45 degrees. And then you tilt it down 45 degrees, like you tilt it up 45 degrees to like, you know, toss it. I didn't mean to actually hit a game, but okay. One, four. Let me demonstrate again. And then you have to, uh, like, if you're on this side, you can actually do it up t towards both ways, and that's why I like it. So you can do it that way, or I could have done it the other way, if I wanted to. Two, you can also do a backspin serve, which, I don't know why that went off the table, two, but uh, five, I'm out of practice right now. Point. Let me just uh, try hard. So what I did just there was uh, I was pretending I was going to hit a backhand and, and at the last like second, once the ball came Match towards point. me, I went around it with my body and uh, hit a really wide angle. This is uh, something you call um, an exploitation of the game's mechanics. <laughs> this is where, you know, you uh, a mechanic of the game uh, is used to better one's play. Four, five. So, let me try to demonstrate it again. Yeah, that gives you a huge corner, and let's see it. Yeah, let's see it can get to it. So, five, we just caused uh, an upset, <laughs> and we're out of distance. All tied up. So, we can backspin here. She gets very confused by backspin. Hits it really high, and bam, easy. Easy win. Six, like if, if she hits five. it high like that, towards the right side, you know to come in instantly with the top spin to the left, and uh, the it's basically it, it, that basically ends the point. It's really effective. So basically, you backspin it, and then she does what on earth was that shot? She um. Six. <laughs> she <laughs> what? Okay. She basically um. All time you know. Up pops it up high because she only thinks to do topspin. Yeah, as you can see, it, yeah, big, I'm just going to keep the point going because I like to talk while doing points. She pops up high, bam! Bam! I don't know what the audience is saying. So, okay, yeah, she also gets slightly confused by, uh, um, weak shots that are, that end up Match second point. bouncing close to the table, which is really specific, but, yeah. As, that, that was, uh, one of the examples of her being confused. <laughs> God. Seven, Sticking four. up the whole entire All house with this crap. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so if she hits a, a corner like that, you actually could probably reach it better if you hit a half volley, which is uh, like a, a shot that goes bump but um like that. <clears throat> like that. You can you can get a corner a lot easier sometimes. Like like she was trying to pull uh, my strategy on myself, but since I can quick shot it unlike her. I was able to get it much easier because for some reason the game is a lot more lenient with uh, timings that are like you know half volleys and I don't know why unless unless you're uh, you know trying to receive a, a, a really hard backspin that's the only time the game kind of isn't to oh, what was that shot yeah Hitting back uh, smashes. It, it also works with hitting back like Lucius smashes. I was trying to get that from behind my back, but it didn't work out. One. Some stacking. She was the one to calm down the stacking. That's pretty surprising. So yeah, getting it a little earlier than you you would think. Um, but not too early because that that would result in you going off the table. Unfortunately, it's it's a it's actually a pretty strict timing. So it's best that you practice it a lot. We're really just forcing Lucia to go on that Two, side of the table. One. She sidesteps a lot when she does a weak shot. So when she does a weak shot, definitely like I know I've stressed this a lot, but you definitely need to hit a shot cross court once. You know, she does one. It's just super hard for her to get to. Three, one. And I think that uh, you know, uh, smash shots are slightly faster than like regular top spins. So yeah, definitely try to go with as many as you can. Four, that is one. a big help to being Lucia is the smash shots. If you don't smash. Uh, you're missing out. <laughs> that was a nice get from me. I don't know how I did that. Okay, that was awesome. That was sick. Five, one, match point. So I'm gonna demonstrate all that I've learned in this next match after I, I just win this point. Cause why not? <clears throat> So we are we are starting our six point match versus Lucia. Toss it up 45, toss it down 45, and then hit it to left, and then super smash it. Get back a, a smash with a half volley, and then start making her forcing her over to the side. Hit a smash volley over there, uh, or a smash shot, not a volley. One zero. Um, and yeah, there's the point. Hit it over to where she's not, you know, things like that. I could also costume Two, smash it. Zero. I just like to uh, super smash it because it's uh, its second bounce goes really far. That's that's why I use it. That was a great return. I don't know how I did that. Oh, uh, that was a good uh, smash from Lucia. She's doing the same thing I'm asking y'all to, is she's, she's just setting it away from me. That's all she's doing. And if, if you're having trouble, like, hitting actual shots, you should try to, like, maybe renew your hardware. Your uh, sensor bar and your remotes are huge factors in how you, uh, how you actually play it. Like, if you're having, like, trouble... Like if it's cutting out for no reason, if it's being glitchy, it's not the game. It's 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 the response that the TV gets from your remote or the sensor bar, the response that's received in the sensor bar. Bruh. Or both. Could be both. You never know. She stands very far back. 
so you just have to be patient. You can't like get excited because Lucia can jump back like a snake. All right, she she can. It's entirely possible. I uh, go around the ball, do the uh, exploitation of the game's mechanics. Let's do some more exploitation of the game's mechanics, and then I'll be done. And then I'll give like a little synopsis of what you need to know. Yeah, see, she, she, if she like kept on standing back, maybe she couldn't have gotten that, but she did a half volley with a backspin and was easily able to get it back. It's weird how this game works like that because in real life, uh, it's really hard to return a smash with a half volley. She would need to stand back pretty much. Yeah, the, the ninja rolls are actually super helpful for getting smashes because they'll like really boost your speed for the second that you are actually like going into a roll. Three, zero. Uh, you basically hit the shot as you're going into it. You don't hit it afterwards, so don't think you can get every shot. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wish. That'll make Lucy a lot easier. Nice try! That's another good thing about uh, half volleys is that you can, you can get like little uh, corner hits really easily because you know you you already had the right timing. So there you go, Lucia. How to beat Lucia? You can also just like watch ping pong tournaments. Like this is nothing like actual ping pong. It's really really different. But you can watch ping pong tournaments just to kind of get an idea of what you want to do. You just want to, you just want to hit it away from Lucia, okay? At all costs, just hit it away from Lucia. If she gets to it, hit it away from her, okay? And uh, you can also, you know, not hit it away from her for two shots, like corner it over to the left side maybe a couple times so that she, she sidesteps away from the table and then make a smash towards the right side where you have a lot of room and she doesn't. You know, you, you have to take into the account that uh, to make a good shot, you know, you have to find the area at which you need to do it. And if that area is bigger, then, you know, you're good to go. You have a lot of room to make that shot. And she has no room to get it. Again, uh, doing topspin, you know, lots of topspin, maybe some backspin to, you know, calm down the rally again. Uh, practicing consistency, standing a decent uh, amount away from the TV may also help when you're playing this. I don't know why, it just seems to help. Um, <clears throat> standing up or sitting down, whatever you prefer. Uh, just, you know, it's a lot of trial and error and things like that. To beat Lucy, it actually took me quite a, a, a long time to actually, like, beat her and then start beating her um, every single time. It, uh, it takes a lot of effort. Um, but I'm sure with this tutorial, y'all can get it down much faster than I did. I challenge you guys <laughs> to beat this woman for me. Please do it. She's very annoying. That, uh, that face of hers uh, is very smug and I don't like it. <laughs> you know. So I'll see you guys later. I hope this tutorial helped. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. I highly suggest it. And yeah, have a nice day. Subscribe now or receive a Tommy, Tommy memoir. memoir.